Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be creating our new Morphic style progress bar. So we've already uh, learned how to create a progress bar. So this time it's going to be a rather similar process, but slightly different because of the uh, um, shadows and stuff that we're going to play with. So um, let me go and uh, create a new file and we're going to call this new Morphic progress bar okay and uh, we're gonna import from Swift UI struct and uh, okay progress bar is gonna inherit from view okay awesome so first we're gonna create a binding uh, for ourselves that's gonna actually track the value you already know that so we don't have to talk much about that one and um, body uh, is gonna be the next uh, item we're gonna create our geometry reader geometry reader is gonna have a geometry proxy which is gonna give us all the um, all the dimensions and then we're gonna have our Z stack this Z stack is going to have an alignment alignment of leading okay um, well why leading because uh, when we superimpose two rectangles on the top of each other or a rectangle and a capsule or two different shapes uh, default uh, alignment is center so what happens is basically when you put your progress bar um, two rectangles uh, the 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 item grows from the middle we don't want that we we want our uh, uh, our rectangle to grow uh, from the end so I'll, I'll show you guys like you know what I'm talking about uh, as soon as uh, we have this fully built I'm gonna change this back to the default and we see how it changes the way our progress bar works Zero dot size dot width. Width and height, okay. And uh, we're gonna use the opacity, 0 0.2. Now this time uh, we're gonna use capsule. And we're gonna use the frame with width. And uh, width is something that we're gonna compute uh, once again. So let me copy paste that function from the other class. And um, here we are simply taking the geometry proxy, we are taking the current value, multiplying it with geometry proxy's width uh, that we get from geometry proxy. And uh, we actually take the minimum of width or the uh, this multiplication value so if our value goes beyond 100 percent basically uh, then we actually take the geometry width because in that in that case this value is going to be smaller so we just want to be safe not show not have like you know our um, our progress go beyond the bounds of the view okay um, all right so width is going to be self dot uh, get progress width and we're gonna supply our geometry proxy into that and for the height is gonna be same uh, geo dot size dot height but I'm gonna subtract two from this uh, just to give it a little bit of sort of like a gap okay then we're gonna have a foreground color color dot bluish and blending mode so we're going to define the blending mode i'm going to use hard light for this blending mode now we are going to use that pneumorphic concave effect um, in this case we're going to put color um oh sorry the corner radius to be 20 and the animation to be spring animation okay and for the entire thing, we're gonna give a corner radius of 
of 45. Awesome. So uh, with that, our new graphic progress bar is ready. So let's go ahead and try this out. So if we have our old progress bar, do we? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we're gonna use this button actually. So let me put a spacing here. Spacing of about 30 points. And uh, we are going to say we need a new morphic progress bar with value and we wanna bind this value. So let's bind this value to value. And then what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna say self, self dot um, value plus equal 0 0.1. Or 0 0.25 let's do that okay um, hmm. so I think that's that's about it so let's go ahead and run this and see if there's any um, oh yeah we forgot about the width frame width 20 points maybe I'll see 20 is 2 Alright, it should be height, not width. Width should be equal to the, um, yeah. Okay. Let's add some padding. Let's try it again. And there we go. Okay, so let's press our button. And there we have it. As you can see, this is our. So if I keep pressing this, uh, you notice that uh, our progress bar is not going to go beyond. Um, in this line because we are actually computing the minimum of uh, minimum of two either the width or the uh, uh, or the computed value okay so that was our progress bar um, I, I really like like you know the, the glow effect and uh, there's another line that's actually chasing that's why I, that's why we gave that uh, spring animation anyways um, so that is uh, basically done for this video. Um, I think we can um, we can take a pause here, and in the next video, let's go ahead and create a new morphic checkbox. Uh, I want to create like a, a different kind of checkbox, um, as we saw in the demo. Um, so basically, you can tap on the whole row and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and, and achieve that, and then uh, then we're gonna proceed into um, other sections of the app okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you